I'm sad not to be with you for this great international symposium on victimology. For me, it is a great honor to be joining the titans of the victimology movement for the last several decades as an honorary member of the World Society of Victimology. I thank you very much. Just 30 years ago, the United Nations General Assembly, all the governments of the world, recognized for the first time that crime is against people and not just the state. And they called upon the governments of the world to prevent victimization better and to implement the Declaration on Basic Principles of Justice for Victims of Crime and Abuse of Power. In those 30 years, much has been achieved by the hard work of victimologists in the World Society of Victimology. Amongst many things, we now have a model set of directives for the European Union. We have a Victim Rights Act in the United States where they are measuring the extent to which it is implemented. We have uh, paragraphs and actions in the International Criminal Court so that victims not only uh, get protection and services and hopefully reparation, but are able to get standing. Recently, Mexico passed model legislation for victims that includes a, uh, a proportion of their budget to go to funding. But much work remains to be done. There are epidemic levels of violence in uh, Latin America and Africa. In the United States, there are epidemic levels of violence amongst persons of, of color. We know across the world that unacceptable levels of violence against women and children continue, and these must be measured better. We know that in the countries where the violence is worst, the services and rights for victims are worst. So we must uh, hold the feet of governments and intergovernmental organizations such as uh, UNODC and the World Health Organization and Habitat. Uh, we must hold their feet to the fire so that they set targets within the Sustainable Development Goals to reduce street violence by 50% to measure and reduce violence against women and children by 50% and to improve those services and rights in a measurable way in 50% more of the uh, countries. So while I'm deeply honored uh, by uh, this decision, I uh, call on all my fellow victimologists to re-engage, to be reinvigorated in this important fight in the next decade for, um, for victims. In uh, 1919, uh, it will be the 50th anniversary of the World Society of Victimology. And may we celebrate this with new achievements across the world. Thank you so much.